What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Respawn Name Fire. This is a special Raft Reviews episode here to talk about a video game you should have heard about if you follow me on Twitter. Uh, I'm Adam, your host from Respawn Name Fire, and today I have a cool guest with me to talk about this game because it's just this game is so big, it wasn't big enough for the one of me. So, introducing today, Roger, how's it going? Hey, Adam. Thanks for having me. Thanks for coming on. I was like, yeah. I, I need somebody please anybody and it's like actually this is perfect because i just at the beginning of the new year i started listening you you got you can in, uh oh. give your plugs and stuff i started listening to you guys and i was like oh you guys are cool let me check this stuff out and it's <laughs> then you guys this week talked about this game we're about to talk yeah. about and i was like perfect yeah. let's get it on but go ahead and introduce yourself yeah, tell yeah. everybody what you do where they can find you all that fun stuff yeah sure i was gonna just a little side bit. i was gonna do a bit where i was just playing the game and i'd be like oh i'm sorry just one more run but sorry i got a cool uh, joker over here <laughs> yeah exactly uh yeah my name is roger uh i host the gamer heads podcast uh it is a weekly show that we do every friday um, where we talk about games and uh, review games as well. And we'll be talking about the, one of the games that we just reviewed ourselves. So, uh, yeah, I'm very excited to be on the show and talk about uh, talk about the game we're talking about. Yes, and that game that you couldn't tell by looking at the title of the episode is Baltaro. I looked it up how to say it. It is Baltaro. I was going to say, I don't know how... I, we, I, I pronounce, if you listen to the show, I pretty, pronounced it like... Five different ways. Balotro, Balotro. <laughs> I didn't know how to pronounce this game. I'm like, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Something like that. So on Wikipedia, it's B A H L A H T H R R O R. Balotro. So I think it's Balotro. 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 Okay. Yeah. I think it, it means jester or joker in whatever language yeah. it's like <laughs> that a, comes from. A Roman word for know. jester. And I'm like, oh, that okay. makes sense. That's for all the joker cards. Yeah, uh, yeah. Just heads up the. So we're talking about Balotro. Uh, Alatros, whatever, doesn't matter. Uh, it is, uh, code was provided by Playstack PR, just so everyone knows about that. But this game, some quick stuff about it before we start. Uh, developed by Local Thunk, um, which is a solo developer and artist. I just happened yeah. to notice that on Twitter. It's like, oh, this is just one person who made this yeah. entire video game, and that's really, really cool. And their first game. Their first game. And the first one is even better. Yeah. Uh, published yeah. by Playstack. Um, it is $14.99. It's on everything. It's on Switch, Xbox, PC, PlayStation. Um just a, a couple of news stories. Uh, Bellatro has sold over uh, 250,000 copies in 72 hours across all platforms. It is currently sitting at an 88 on Metacritic. You could call it a sleeper hit. Yeah. Some yeah, for that. sure. Yeah. So um, I'll just explain. Uh, we'll go back first. Okay. So basically what Bellatro is, it is a poker roguelike. That's in like the easiest sense of the word. But so basically... I like, this is why I like this game so much. It's so addicting. It's like, okay, do you know what poker hands are? You don't even have to, do you know what Yahtzee is? You know, like, yeah, right, it's like the right. base rules for <laughs> yes. like card games and stuff. It's like, yes, pairs, three of a kind, four of a kind, full house, straights, flushes. That's the basic. It's like, okay, I'm yeah. building a deck to play these hands. Yeah. And then they throw at you, which is the genius of it, is like these joker cards which are modifiers. That's all it is. So you're playing yeah. a, a card building roguelike with crazy modifiers that seem to break the game. And <laughs> the simplicity of that just works super well because you're like, okay, roguelike deck builder. Like I love Slay the Spire. It's great. But Slay the Spire is still like, you have to know how the character works. You can't just yeah. like play this card. Like you got to know like, oh, what is it called? The hunter, the guy with the sword. You know, like I know yeah. how this character works or in an yeah. inscription, like, well, I'm doing a bone run instead of a blood run or whatever it is. Yeah. This is just yeah. poker, and there's modifiers, and it, and it's a ton of fun. Yeah, um, so that's basically how it works. So top level, just at the very beginning, your main thoughts. How are you feeling? Because I know you've played. Well, I've asked you this yeah. real quick. Because yeah. I know you guys talked about it this week. How much have you yeah. played? How have you done on your runs? How many wins? Yada yada yada. Uh so I just had my first win this weekend. Uh, so yesterday, I think, yeah, yesterday, yesterday. Uh, and I was super excited about that. And the, I think the reason I got that win, and I mean, it was, I mean, I, not to sound too arrogant, but I had a really good hand. I had a really good set of jokers going too. So, I mean, I easily beat the boss and I still had like two hands to play. And I'm like, oh man, that was, that was a good run. Uh, up to that point though, like I was getting killed by all the bosses and, uh, I don't know how many, runs i've played but i played a lot a lot and uh, this is 
taken over my life for the last couple days, honestly. <laughs> yeah, I had gotten the code. We were talking about this before. The game came out on Tuesday. I got the code yeah. on Monday, and I hadn't been off work yeah. Monday. Played for eight hours Monday. I have 15 <laughs> hours in now, and I have two wins under my belt so far. Wow. In less than a week. Nice. So, uh, nice. I like it a lot, guys. I'll just say that. It's very good. Yeah. Especially yeah. when you get on a good run, like you say, when you have the right hand and you're just doing the right strategy or the right luck, I guess, uh, it's amazing. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, just talk about how, how much you like this game. Is this the indie game of the year? I know it's only February, but uh, are we there already? I, I actually said that, that I think this, it'll be really hard for another indie game to top uh, this game for me because of how good it is. It's, so the thing that, people get turned off with roguelites roguelikes or roguelites i guess um is the fact that you know when you lose you have to start all over right and that is very frustrating for some players right like yes there are things that you can collect and start unlocking new things and, and in this game there is too but when you lose and you start all over it doesn't feel terrible it's like okay well just i'm just gonna do another run here and I think that's what the beauty of it. One is just the simplicity. Like, how did this game not be made before? Like, I don't understand that. Because it's, it, like you said, it's just poker rules, right? And it's just cards. It's just playing cards. Granted, there's other things, like you said, the jokers. And then there's other modifiers like tarot cards and, and planet cards and stuff like that, too. But it is such an amazing game that even my friends who do not like roguelikes will play and will and and say wow I, I actually really love this game a lot so that says a lot when people are those my friends that do not like roguelikes jump into this and play this game yeah it's sort of that thing is like again i like roguelikes but the thing yeah, like I hades do. is like well you need to kind of be good in an action game and you need to like understand what a build is right yeah this yeah. game is great in the it's just again you have to understand basic like what is a full house what is a straight but yeah i love how per run that determines what you're gonna do because if yeah. you get a good joker at the beginning, that's like, okay, you can, this is, the the time that I won, I got on my very last hand before I went and fought the boss. So basically, three battles, get to a boss fight, you just do that up to eight times to beat a run. On my last one, I love this card so much, it says you can play a straight even if you skip one sequential yeah. card. Yeah, yes. So, again, a straight that's is. a great card. <laughs> five cards in a row, so 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. But that card is like, well, I can go 10 if I don't have them in my hand because you draw cards every hand and you have your cards. So I'm like, I could do 10, 8, 7, 6, 5, uh, 4. Mm -hmm. but as long as I have five cards and there's one spot between each of them, I could still get a, get a, a straight. And that's yeah. why I beat the boss. Because I just was like, yeah. every hand was a straight, which is one of the higher scoring things you can have in the game. So yeah, I, yeah. Unlike a Hades where it's like, man, I got to get good with the, with the kitty paws or I got to get good with the sword. It's like... Well, no, just play it this time, and the game will give you something fun to do and just yeah. use the most basic rules on planet Earth and figure yeah. it out. So I, yeah, yeah. It's great. Yeah. Yeah, this, I think that's one thing that I really love about this game because there is a lot of strategy to it because it sounds like, you know, yes, there is a randomness to it, but there is strategy to it. You might have a Joker that, like you said, gives you special uh, points or allows you to do certain things. Like, once you get straight like that, or a card like that, or Joker like that, then you start leveling, this is what I would do, I'd start leveling up my straights, right? So that way they level up faster. And then I might have a card in there that says, like, give a multiplier to tens, or give a multiplier to twos, or give a multiplier, right? So you start building your strategy around some of those Jokers, and you start building your deck, because after every run, or after, yeah, after the three runs, you got, the, you know, your small, your big, and then your boss uh, card, or battles i guess you will and then you go to a shop and then at the shop you can buy different cards because you earn money when you beat these different uh different battles there's also a really good strategy in there where you have so again there's just three they're small big and then you have the boss like you were saying three battles to get to the end of, the, of this part of the level they had this cool thing where you can skip which is yeah. like okay so i won't be able to if you have the right kind of cards like i won't be able to upgrade them this time um but I will get another reward. Like the one that I love. Anytime it's like, okay, if you skip this battle, you get a holographic foil joker the next time in the shop. Every yeah. time. If I have the yeah. money for it, I'm like, because I want those good cards. So I will skip this yeah. battle. I will skip possibility of some rewards for this guaranteed reward. And again, yeah. that's the strategy yeah. where it's like, you can skip, you could basically skip every battle except for the boss battles if you were good enough, I suppose, or had enough cards. Or you could play it slow and like 
see what the what the cards what cards you draw and then like build it off of that. It, it lets you do it really just lets you do whatever. It also just like doesn't care if you break the game, which is also yeah. my favorite thing <laughs> of all time. Um that is so I mean, that is the best part about the game is the fact that it feels like at any moment like a house of cards this is going to come tumble, toppling down. But it hasn't. That I just don't understand how like and there's 150 jokers, we should say. There's 150 different jokers in this game. And a lot of them you have to unlock. So you go through a run, you might unlock a different joker based on like, oh, you played so many cards or you earned so much money. Um, it's just it's just insane how this was built. This is the first game from this developer. It is a, it is a single uh, developer studio. I, it's just, it floors me. That's great. So a couple more things about, again, you know, the jokers, I think, are the main thing. But so this is the roguelite part of it. So it's like, Whenever you play, like, the cards that you draw, like we were saying, like, oh, I got this kind of joker, I got this kind of thing, that is for your run. So when you lose, that's gone. But again, you are unlocking stuff. So the next time, this one will show up. Or maybe this new one you never played will show up. So you have the jokers. Again, there's 150 of them, I believe, like you said. Um, You start with different deck colors, which give you different bonuses. So your first one is just um, a red, red colored deck. Like, you know, just normal playing the colors on the back are red, um, like the design. And that one's like, oh, you get plus one discard. Because, you know, if you mm-hmm. don't have cards in your hand that you want, you can discard and you have a certain number per match. Um, and then it's all the way up to, like, when you beat or run with them, you get other cool decks. So I have one now that's, like, it's called the Abandoned Deck, and it just doesn't have any face cards at all in it. Like, to start oh, out. Oh, really? It doesn't have any of them. But. Oh, wow. That probably helps, like, if you're making a certain kind of run where I don't need to worry mm. about these higher cards. I'm just going to play the lower cards. I'm sure that there's a mm. way that that can. Or maybe it's just a challenge. You also have things called Vouchers which are mm. permanent, like, in your run, this is a thing that will happen the whole time. Like, one of the early ones you get is, like, a two times um, chance that a special card shows up, like, shiny, foil, whatever. And then you pl- you buy that once, and that's good for your whole thing until you, until you lose. Uh, and then you have the tarot cards and the planet cards and spectral cards, which are basically, like, a one-time use card that gives you a weird thing. Like, my favorite one is the, the tarot card death, where it's, like, you click two cards, the left one turns into the right one. So you mm. can basically take, like, here's a junk two of spades that I never use, and here's an ace with, like, a seal on it and, like, a hundred times multiplier. And it's like, oh, well, that junk three just became that ace. Yeah. Great. Love it. And then the planet ones, like, level up, like, like I had a run where I just did, two, I played two pairs every time because my yeah. two pair bonus was, like, at level 10. So anytime I yeah. played it, yeah. it, it scored higher, even though technically it's a lower scoring hand in poker. But because yeah. of the way I built it, it was super good. So I like yeah. that it's got that little bit of let me change it up, let me do it my own way, or this run, and then again, that's the roguelite, where that stuff goes away, but the cards you've unlocked and the ability to for them to show up is what persists and continues. Yeah. So. Yeah, I love that. Uh, and, and then there's packs of cards you can buy, too, in the shop, too, which is mm-hmm. really cool. So it gives this element of, uh, like, maybe you'll find a shiny card, right, in the, in the pack, uh, or maybe you'll find, like, a uh, you know, there's gold cards, there's silver or there's steel cards, there's foil cards, there's glass cards, which tend to be really powerful, but there's a one in four chance that they'll get destroyed after being played. And just like things like that just make the game just feel like a collectible card game as well. Like it's such a cool, cool concept. Yeah, I'm trying to get all these jokers because I've got a lot of them, but I'm like, I need to figure out like everything I can have so I can figure out what to do next. Yeah, very, very yeah. Good. So yeah. moving on. Oh, go ahead. You got some. No, no, no. I, I do, I'm in agreement with you. Yeah, I'm trying. I think I have like 50 some jokers right now. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm pretty far away from collecting them all yet. So yeah, yeah. No, I like the different colored decks because like, I think green gives you, if you have plays left over or discards left over, it pays you out for those. Yeah. Um. Mm-hmm. So that, those were runs where I would be like, all right, I'm in the shop. I bought everything and I still have like $38 left. I just <laughs> have so much money. Uh, yeah. Those are super fun. Those kind of runs. Yeah. So yeah. my next thing I'm going to move on to before we're kind of getting closer to the end of wrapping up. Favorite run that you've had so far? Best deck? Joker combination? Strategy? Like what is your favorite? Like, mm. oh, I played this and this was super fun. And so, even if you didn't necessarily mm. win, because I have one that didn't win, but I was like, this feels broken and I love it. So. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, my favorite Joker happens to be one that will give you a plus one multiplier for every uh, every hand you play, uh, but it minus one if you discard cards. So, but at the end, 
um, I was having like a plus 38, plus 40 multiplier to everything. And on top of the other jokers are giving multipliers as well. Um, so that was really cool. There's a joker that I had, and I don't remember the name of it, but it had to do with the fact that if you died in the run, as long as you had 25% of, uh, of the amount of chips that you needed to beat that boss or beat that level, you wouldn't die. You'd be able to survive. I thought that was really cool. Um, that one kills itself after you use it, but it's very nice yeah, to be like, yeah. that can, I think on my winning run, I had that one in there and it saved me on like the last, next to last thing I had to do. So, yeah. 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 That, that's why that's a nice one to have. Um, but they're random, right? Like you don't really know. Um, my favorite though is the misprint joker. Have you seen this? Oh, one? it's so good. <laughs> it's the best. It looks like it's like it got caught in the printer. So it's all like, like blurred and not blurred, but like, like the ink is it's smeared yeah yeah uh and then the multiplier is just random so it might be zero sometimes but it might give you like a multiplier of 20 and then 30 or two or five um so you never really know what multiplier you're gonna get but what a cool concept of just a random multiplier <laughs> based on a misprint card what a cool concept i love that yeah it's cool by the way so those who haven't played it again you should play it because it literally is one of the best games of the year so you're playing your poker hands that gives you a certain amount of points your multiplier gets added on to that so you want cards with multipliers so you can you yeah. can basically at a certain point play like one hand and win because it's like you need to earn uh two thousand dollars in this run well i have a plus 20 multiplier and i played you know my 200 point hand so i win automatically yeah yeah so yeah, yeah. are very important jokers are good for that one for me that was good i didn't win on this run i got pretty far though so i can't remember the exact cards but let me just take it with me so there was one that allows you that so hearts and um, hearts and clubs are red. It said those both those both count as the same thing. The mm. card is like anything that is red counts as a red card. Anything that is black counts as a black card. Interesting. Which makes getting uh, flushes very easy. A flush is you need five of the same suit. But yeah. per this Joker, anything that's the same color is technically the same suit. Oh, that's cool. Um, and then I had another. It was that one mixed with um, something about getting flushes gave me more money or more multipliers and then mm. i also it was like i had the one where if you play a diamond it's you get a four times multiplier and if you play a club you get a, a four times multiplier so every single hand i played <laughs> was just like are these are these cards the same color i'm gonna score uh, five thousand dollars yeah point blank yeah period. that's crazy every that's single crazy. time it was so good and i was like this is broken this doesn't feel right <laughs> that i can literally just not even think it's like these colors yeah same color I win. Have a good day. I, I don't remember yeah. what killed me. It's probably like the boss where you can only play one hand. I was like, oh, wow. oh the needle. Yeah, that guy's. Yeah, rough. No, that guy. That guy is rough, and I never want to face him again. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> uh, but that I was like, I think I tweeted him like, this is this game broken? Is this supposed to be like this? <laughs> but no, it was great. And again, I didn't even win that run, and I had to go back. But I love the. I love the combinations that are like just do the one thing that's really easy yeah. over and over again, and then you win. Yeah, great one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, can I ask what is your so there's a lot of bosses in this game what is your least favorite boss mine is the needle the one that you have to just one hand and you're done like that's all you can play yeah needle's tough I mean unless again if you're if you get him later on and you can like get really good plays it's fine the one yeah. that I don't like is there's one that's like every time you draw a card it's face down oh yeah I just, that's tough I don't know what I'm doing the guy who does yeah. one in seven is fine whatever and there's also one that you have to play five cards every time yes yes so in poker if you don't so say i have a pair and then i just have three random cards those random cards don't count it's the pair that yep. gets counted there yep. are jokers that allow every card to get counted or if you're built for playing five cards it's fine but that run yeah. specifically i was just doing the two pair run yeah so it's yeah. like well i only play four cards every turn but now i have to play five and i started to yeah. run out of cards and then yeah he killed me because i just ran out of good cards basically yeah yeah that's that that one's tough too yeah but the one with the drawn uh down face down that is that is rough the only way i ever was able to make it past that one was um i knew that i had a joker that gave my kings a multiplier mm. as long as they're in my hand yeah and uh so i would watch it and i would see where the mul if it if it multiplied then i'm like okay that's the joke or that's my king in my hand and then i would uh rank them by suit and just hope that i'm hope you got it right <laughs> you know, we got it right yeah, exactly oh, very good yeah it's, it's so deep there's again it's such a crazy simple idea but they just work so well oh yeah question you played it on uh so i played on pc um i'm playing it on switch and then my uh co-host phil who reviewed the game loved it so much 
that he bought an Xbox version for me as well. He's like, dude, play it on Xbox. It's so good. Uh, because of the achievements. He's an achievement yeah, hunter, yeah, right? Yeah. So he's like, you need to play on Xbox. So he bought me a copy on Xbox. So I actually have three copies of this game. Very nice. <laughs> Everyone else should do it. I played on PC, and that's where the code was right for me. I, you know, That's where I also played the Steam demo, so obviously. But I feel like this yeah. game is also just like, I can't wait for it to come to mobile, because this is absolutely yeah. like... Yeah, the perfect just wasting my time while I'm waiting on you know working quote unquote or whatever because <laughs> uh, I don't have a switch to take to work or whatever. But like this feels like like one of those. Uh, so yeah. I guess the next question, unless you have any other cool stories or things you have, uh, some silly question: Would you recommend it? <laughs> yes, absolutely. Like we gave it, a, we score uh, on our on our site. We score by letter grades. We gave an A plus. Like mm-hmm. we don't give a lot of A pluses out. This was an A plus game. Yeah, we normally don't do, like, numbered or lettered scores or whatever, but, like, if, on my own, you know, everyone does the thing. On, not everyone does it. A couple people do it on Twitter where you have, like, your your thread of every game I've beaten this year or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'd had a little review on there. I'm like, yeah, 10 out of 10, A+, plus, whatever. This is, It was a surprise when I played the the demo. And then I got the full yeah. game. I was like, oh, this is just better than the demo, and the demo was already great. So this yeah. is, if anything we said this whole time was like, that sounds slightly interesting, it's like 15 bucks. Just go get it. It's going to yeah. be so good. You're going to enjoy yourself. Like, you you yeah. get addicted in the first time you do it. Especially because yeah. it's like, you know, everyone's like that one more run thing. But it's like, mm-hmm. it's easy to do one more run when it takes you like four minutes. Yeah. Yeah. That's the thing. Because like, to get to the final boss, it's eight uh, eight antis. That's, that's the eighth anti, I should say. So there's, you know, for every Three battles, that's an ant, that's one ante, right? So it really doesn't take long to even get to the final boss. Um, but if you get to the final boss, you might you might not make it to the final boss, which shortens, obviously, the run, too. And I will say there has been runs where I just made it to the first boss, and I'm like, oh, that did not go well. I had to start all over. <laughs> it happens. But then, again, it's so easy to jump back in and just like... Yeah. And again, it's like, well, I, have, I know I have cards unlocked. These might be fun. Let me just see what the game's going to give me, and then it's going to give you something fun to do. So... I've, it's yeah. like endless I mean there's so much stuff there's like more difficulties and stuff that I even looked at yeah. I'm just doing the base difficulty at the beginning and I'm still put like 15 hours in yeah um, yeah. so we'll see on the harder stuff I don't even I don't even need it to be harder but there's stuff out there <laughs> if you want it so yeah both there recommends is. for sure for sure alright I think that's we're getting to the end of the Baltaro Baltaro <laughs> Baltaro <laughs> uh, review over here on Respawn Aim Fire Give everyone your plugs. Thank you again. Thank you so much for coming on and talking yeah, about this. I need people with taste to talk about video games. <laughs> Sorry, Cozy, you don't have good taste in video games. Um, but yeah, tell everybody about yourself one more time. Yeah, sure. Uh, so you can follow us on uh, the internet, I guess, at, um, at GamerHeadsPodcast.com, where you can read our reviews and listen to our podcast and read articles that we also post there, too. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at Nintendoraj, or you can follow Gamerheads at GamerheadsPod on Twitter as well. So those are how you can get a hold of us. All right, check them out. The guys are awesome over there. You can appreciate it one more time. Everyone check out Baltero. 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 <laughs> it's a very good video game. Uh, thanks for stopping by. See you guys later. Bye. <laughs>